Okay, so we're going to have a little look at a couple of the questions from last Monday um, from the gold worksheet. A couple of children did ask me. So this is one that we were looking at. And it says, I am thinking of a number. When it is divided by nine, the remainder is three. That means that the number is not a multiple of nine. When it is divided by two, the remainder is one. That means it must be odd. When it is divided by five, the remainder is four. What is the number? So when I, div when I multiply it by five, I always find a number that ends in a zero or a five. This number has a remainder of four. So that means that the number in question must end in either a four, because when divided by five, the remainder is four, or a nine, because four is four larger than zero, and nine is four larger than five. All multiples of five end in zero or five. So must end in four or nine. So that's my first clue. Okay, then it says when it's divided by two, the remainder is one. That means it must be odd. Therefore, it must end in a 9, because 4 is even. It can't end in a 4, so it must end in a 9. Okay, when divided by 9, the remainder is 3. Well, if it ends in a 9, and it needs to be divided by 9, it needs to be a number... that is three more than a number in the nine times tables okay so let's have a little look at the nine times tables we go nine eighteen twenty seven thirty six forty five fifty four sixty three 72, 81, 90, 99, 108. Okay, I need to be able to work out when it's divided by 9, the remainder is 3. Okay, it must, the number in question must end in a 9. So I need to take one of these numbers and I need to add 3. Whichever one of those numbers in the 9 times tables that I can add 3 to and in my 1's column I have a 9 is my answer. So when I do 9 add 3 that gives me 12. That does not work because it must end in a nine. This must be in the ones column. When I add three to 18, that gives me 21. Doesn't work. 27 add three gives me 30. Doesn't work. 36 add three gives me 39. That could work. 45 add 3 gives me 48, doesn't work. 54 add 3 gives me 57, doesn't work. 63 add 3 gives me 66, doesn't work. 72 add 3 gives me 75, doesn't work. 81 add 3 gives me 84, doesn't work. 90 add 3 gives me 93, doesn't work. 99 add 3 gives me 102, doesn't work. 108 add 3 gives me 111 doesn't work that leaves me with one number which was 36 okay now I'm going to check that to make sure that it does work so let's do 30 um so we did 36 add 3 so that we had the remainder which gave us 39 so we think the number in question is actually 39 
39 divided by 9. 9 does not go into 3. Oops. 9's into 39 goes 4. Remainder 3. So that works for that one. Tick. Does it divide by 2? 39 divided by 2. 2's into 3 goes once with 1 left over. 2's into 19 goes 9 with 1 remaining. remaining. Tick, that works. Finally, does it work for the 5's? 5 does not go into 3. 5's into 39. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 goes 7 times with 4 remaining. Yes, it works. So my answer is 39. Hopefully you've understood how we got there. Okay, the other one that we wanted to look at was this one. When 59 is divided by 5, the remainder is 4. When 59 is divided by 4, the remainder is 3. When 59 is divided by 3, the remainder is 2. When 59 is divided by 2, the remainder is 1. Now, what can we say about the number 59? Okay, we need to think about what factors does 59 have? And actually, I'm pretty sure that 59 is a prime number. So, I'm just thinking, get your times table grid out if you need to. 59 is a prime number, so it only has the factors 59 and 1. That means we need to have a think about any other prime numbers that we know that this same thing could work for. So, prime numbers have the factors of 1 and themselves. So the only even prime number is 2, but that's not going to work. Let's try, 3 wouldn't work, 5 wouldn't work, let's try 7. So 7 divided by 5 would be 1 remainder 2. Instantly I can see that that doesn't work. Okay, the next prime number is 11. 11 divided by 5. This one's a bit more trial and error. That goes 2. Remainder 1. Doesn't work. The next one is 13. Divided by 5 is 2. Remainder 3. Doesn't work. The next one is 17. 17 I know doesn't work. Does 19 work? 19 is a prime number. 19 divided by 5 gives me 3 remainder 4. Perfect so far. It does work because my remainder is 1 less than what I'm dividing by. What about 19 divided by 4? 4, 8, 12, 16. Oh, I can fit 4 into there. And actually, I do have three remaining, so that works. Oh, I don't know why I've highlighted the four there. Never mind, let's keep going. What about divided by three? Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Three, six, nine, twelve. 15, 18. Oh, 3 lets us down because that fits 6 times remainder 1. So that one doesn't work. That was very close though. Okay, let's move on to the next one. The next prime number is 23. 23 divided by 5 gives us 4 remainder 3. Doesn't work. Next one. 29. 
divided by five gives us five remainder four. Yep, that works. 29 divided by four. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. No, it doesn't work because it would only have a remainder of one. Can't be 29. Okay, so you see what I'm doing. I'm working through the prime numbers and I'm working out to see whether or not this pattern that they've given us works. What's the next prime number after 29? One. Does it work for 31? Let's rub those out again. Just so that I've got a bit of space. 31 divided by 5 gives me 6 remainder 1. No, it doesn't work. Next one, 37 divided by 5 gives me 7 remainder 2. No, it doesn't work. Next one, 41. I can tell instantly 41 is not going to work because 40 divides by 5 and it would only leave me with 1. Next one is 43. Again, doesn't work. 47 doesn't work. Which one's the next one that ends in 9? Let me try it. Hold on. Okay, so the first one that works in prime numbers is 59. So that means perhaps there is a number that is not a prime number, but because I've worked out that it's not a prime number, that then leaves me with the others. I'm gonna have to leave that, you're gonna have to leave that one with me um, and we will come back to it later when I have worked it out. Okay, so it's not a prime number, but that's something, isn't it? Okay, so my next idea is to go with the numbers that end in nine. I know it isn't nine, I know it isn't 19 and I know it isn't 29 because we tried those before. So let's try 39. 39 divided by 5 is 7 remainder 4. That works. Thirty-nine divided by four is four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty-four, twenty-eight, thirty-two, thirty-six, which is nine. Remainder three. That one works. Thirty-nine divided by three does not work because the answer is 13 with no remainder. Can't be 39. What about 49? Divided by 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. That's 9 fives. Remainder 4, that works. Let's try for 4s. 49 divided by 4. No, that doesn't work because 10 fours are 40, 12 fours are 48. It must be an odd number. Because it doesn't divide by 2. Let's try something that ends in a seven now. Okay, so let's try, did we do seven? We tried 17, let's try 27. No, 27 is in the threes. Let's try thir 37, we knew didn't work because of the fives. No, it can't end in a seven. I don't think there is another one. Hmm. 
because for that to work with a five it must end in nine let's let's keep going let's go higher 15 hmm I think that that is an impossible task I wonder what you guys found <laughs>